Hey guys, Jared here, Magnetic Men's Club. Welcome back to the channel, good to see you. Today we're gonna go over 10 things that men do that typically make you appear older than you are. Growing old, you wanna grow old gracefully, it's a natural process. But I found some men, a lot of men, most men, do some of these things to actually make them appear older than they actually are. So if you're doing any of these things, not a big deal. You can change these in real time very quickly and it'll help you make you feel better and you'll actually look better. You'll actually look younger. And the very first one is your scent. If you're still wearing the same cologne that you did in high school, I was a 90s kid back in, you know, 89 to 93. I was in high school, so I'm a little bit older. I remember polo. I remember Jakar. I remember Obsession, I think was one. And then I even remember my dad back in the day, he had Brute. I remember when I used to be a little bit younger, I'd pretend I was shaving, I'd slap on Brute and I'd throw that shit all over the place and I'd smell like basically a male whore. So if you're wearing any of these colognes now, they do still smell good, but they age you. And if you're out there in the dating scene and you're an older man now and you're still rocking these out, it'll come across to women that you're a little boring, you're not up with the times, you're a little stuffy, and you're stuck in your ways. Get a new scent cologne. There's so many out there. Go to a high-end retail store, Macy's if they're still around, I don't fucking know, and start testing out colognes. See which one works best for you. There's colognes that have a very light scent. There's some that are a little woodsy. There's tons of different scents out there. Find a cologne that matches who you are, but upgrade it. You'll come across again in your dating as a little bit more new age. You'll smell more fresh and you'll feel so much better just upgrading your cologne. And speaking of cologne, less is more. I don't know who told some of you guys that 15 squirts all over the place is a good idea. No, what you wanna do is, if you wear watches, you wanna squirt not on your wrist, you wanna squirt on the top part of your hand, one squirt, one squirt, don't smash them, let them breathe and then put one on your neck. Three squirts max, less is more. A good cologne should be discovered. It should be experienced. It shouldn't come like a nuclear waste dump five miles away, people can smell you. Less is more, men. The second thing that men do to make themselves appear older than they are is untrimmed eyebrows. Oftentimes, guys, as we get older, we start getting different body hair, our eyebrows, the, the hairs actually start fleeking up. We get the unibrow thing. Get those trimmed up. It's gonna help shape your face. It's gonna actually expose your eyes more and it's gonna make you look younger. So get your eyebrows trimmed. Speaking of eyebrows, this is number three. Guys, just body hair. Fucking everything grows on us, usually except for our own hair on the top of our head. But our nose hairs get more dense, they get longer, we got fucking ear hair growing out, we got back hair, we got chest hair coming out. Get a good clipper and when you get to the barbers or you get to the beauty salon, whatever, get your ear hair trimmed back. Get that nose hair under control. Nothing looks more disgusting when you see some dude with fucking nose hair coming out of his nose and you can actually see it and he's breathing in and out and the fucking hair is coming out. It's disgusting. You're never going to get laid like that. Trim that nose hair. Get rid of that ear hair. Trim that back. Get a good clipper. If you got a lot of hair in your chest, dude, we're not in the 70s anymore. Trim that up. It, may, it dates you, especially when you wear v-necks and tank tops and the hair's just coming all out of the place. No woman's gonna look at you and be like, yeah, I gotta have that, that, that fucking hairy ape. That shit's mine. Back hair, it's a little hard to get rid of because fuck, it's just you. 
There are machines out there that you can do your own back. Go to a, there's places that can wax your back. Get rid of that back hair. Trim that chest hair up. It's going to make you look younger and really it's just gonna make you look so much better getting that under control. And the very last one, your junk. If you got this big 70s bush down there, think about it this way, guys. If you're out there and you're going down, you're ready to go down on this sexy senorita and she's got this fucking bush, you're gonna be like, that shit's nasty. Women trim, trim up their shit for a reason. Men, same reason. You don't wanna have this big bush down there. It's gonna make your junk look smaller. There's odor, you sweat more. You don't have to go the bald look, but you definitely need to trim it up. Number five, guys, is just what you wear. If you're in your 30s and 40s and you're still rocking out cargo pants, baggy cargo pants, or super skinny jeans, you it, it's, it's aging you. You look a lot older than you are. And also, in one aspect, if you're wearing the super skinny jeans, it actually comes across as try hard because younger guys kind of wear that. You want a good pair of jeans that fit you. Loose is okay. Too loose, no. Too skinny, fuck no. Get a good pair of slacks, get a good pair of jeans, let them fit you, wear a fucking belt. And the same thing goes with the shirts. If you have too baggy of a shirt, it doesn't really form to you. Get a shirt that actually forms to you, that fits you, not too thirsty, if you're an extra large guy and you're wearing a large shirt, you look like a douchebag. Wear an extra large shirt, but don't wear a triple X. Wear clothes that complement your physique. Now, if you're a fat fuck and you don't want people to see how fat you are, then consider getting clothes made for you that actually conform to you. Or, here's a novel idea. Get your fat ass to a fucking gym, learn to eat, Get that fat off you, then you can rock shirts that actually form to your physique. But wearing these baggy clothes and clothes that don't fit you, it's gonna age you, it's either gonna make you look too try hard, you're trying to be too young, or it's gonna make you look too old. Number six, dental health. I, don't, I can't possibly fathom why dudes don't go to the dentist. You get yellow, stainy, nasty ass teeth. I just ran into a high school friend and this dude, I could scrape butter off his fucking teeth. And he's looking at me, he's like, dude, you have such a white smile. Yeah, fucker, I go to the dentist, I get the plaque taken care of, and then I get my teeth whitened about every six months. Having a nice, white, healthy smile makes you very attractive, makes you so much more attractive. Women come up, and they're a little bit more at ease with you because they're like, okay, this dude it takes care of his teeth. Women see everything. They know everything about you within seconds. So if you smile, you're trying to hide your smile because you know they're fucking nasty, she's gonna think you're hiding something. If you have a nice, bright, white smile and you're talking to her, she's like, oh, fuck, okay, goddamn, the dude takes care of himself. He goes to the dentist, he whitens his teeth. He actually cares about himself. Get your teeth checked out by, if you haven't been to the dentist in over a year, it should be every six months, get to the dentist, get a good cleaning, check your oral health. The very first line of defense in your entire system is dental health. Dentists can start recognizing patterns in just your teeth that might be affecting the rest of your body. If you have sores in your mouth, they might, it might be an infection. You won't know unless the dentist is checking you out, right? So you need a nice, healthy, white smile. Your teeth will last longer. You don't wanna be rocking around with dentures, do you? Then you're gonna look really old. You go talk to a girl and your fucking dentures fall out. No, it's nasty. Whiten your teeth, clean your teeth, get your teeth checked out. If they're all nasty and crooked, you're not too old to get braces. Go to an orthodontist, get that shit straightened out. Your smile says so much about you, so take care of your smile. Number seven, guys, gray hair. Now, it's okay if you're that silver fox and it's cool to have some gray hair coming in, but if you don't like it, 
it's equally, equally okay to dye your hair. But I've noticed a lot of guys will actually over dye. They go way too dark and they go way too much. And now you come across as try hard. You come across trying to look younger than you actually are. It's okay to have some gray hairs. It's okay to dye them if you don't like them. Leave a little bit in there and get a shade that actually is your hair color. I'm a light brown. If I go medium brown, it's way too dark. I look way, I, I look like I'm try hard. So go whatever the hair color you are, match it up to the box, put it on, and don't go too dark. Number eight, it's two different things. It's excessive alcohol and smoking. Nothing is gonna age your skin like drinking too much. It pulls water out of your system. If you're drinking a lot, you have leather, leathery skin, you tend to get more wrinkles. The same thing with smoking. It's gonna make your breath stink. It's gonna give you those deeper wrinkles. Knock off smoking. Now, excessive drinking, we're talking about common drinking. You drink once in a while, that's one thing. But one thing you can do, if you have a, a beer or two, wash it down with some water. Get that water back into your system to rehydrate your skin. Smoking, again, dude, we all know the problems and the health complications you can have with smoking. So if you are a smoker, consider getting on Chantix, consider go, talking to your doctor and getting and kicking that habit. Number nine is just ignoring skincare. Guys, just washing our face and rubbing a towel on it isn't good enough. You need to be putting a good moisturizer. If you have wrinkles, that moisturizer is gonna help kind of soothe out those wrinkles. There's good serums out there. A product that I recommend, I'm not being paid by this company, is Tiege Handling. They have a bunch of different products that you can buy. There's a kit, it's very easy to use. It's a skincare product that you can wash your face. Once that's done, you put the serum on and then you put a good SPF over that. It's gonna help protect your skin. It's gonna help your skin glow. It's gonna help you look a lot younger. So get a good skincare regimen going. And the very last one sort of goes into your dress is your shoes. Throw out your white sneakers. Throw out your fucking boat shoes. If you're ro rocking sneakers in any other outfit other than going to the gym or in shorts, you're doing it wrong. You're living life all wrong. Sneakers with jeans, no. Sneakers with slacks, no. S sneakers with shorts, yes. Sneakers while going to the gym, yes. No other time, get a good classic shoe when you're wearing your jeans, when you're wearing your slacks, no sneakers, and for fuck's sake, no boat shoes. I don't even know why they still make them, but they're making them because motherfuckers are still buying them. Throw out your boat shoes. No boat shoes, no sneakers whatsoever. If you do wear sneakers while going to the gym, no white shoes, no white, blacks. Don't make them all these wild colors. Keep them very simple. I know they're harder to find these days because everybody wants these weird ass fucking sneakers out there. Find a good classic sneaker, go to the gym, do your business, wear shorts, wear sneakers. Don't wear sneakers with jeans, don't wear sneakers with slacks. Wear a good shoe. That's all I got on this. My name is Jared Schoemaker. This is Magnetic Men's Club. If you found videos like this helpful, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment, smash that bell icon so you know when new videos are being dropped. And if you need some more support, click on the link below to our Magnetic Men private Facebook group. It's 100% free. Take a look at that, consider becoming a member there. And if you want even more support, we have a group mentorship program. Click that link down below and you can see all of the advantages to becoming a member in our private app called Magnetic Men called Coach Labs. With that, have an amazing day. We'll talk soon.